Tevi, we talked a little bit in advance about uh, about our topic, which I guess we could call the thing "Get Out of Town," mm-hmm. um, and some of the advantages to networking outside of our market. And I'll be honest with you, as I shared with you before, you know, there's a lot of things I think I do really well, but I also know there are areas where you know Jack can probably improve in this arena, and this is one of them. I don't do a lot of conferences. The ones I've done, I've enjoyed, but I know it's something you've done a lot of. And so let's uh, let's talk about that. So tell me, you like to get out of town on the business, you know, on the business way. Tell me where you go, what you like to do, what what types of conferences do you like to go to? Well, um, there there's all sorts of different types of conferences and events um, to attend, and I, I really think looking for for those types of events where you're going to be able to interact with people who could be good referral partners. Who, who are in your feeder markets, um, uh, going to events where you know you're gonna see people that you already know to really bolster those relationships and also uh, to meet new folks. And also I've got kind of a high bar for expectations of what I'm gonna take away, right? So as you said, I am, I am um, kind of experienced at this conference attending Thing. My mom started me off even before I became part of her team. She was dragging me along as a college student saying, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll pay for your hotel and you can hang out at the pool. Oh, except you can't. You have to actually come with me to these things. And um, and so I've been doing this a long time. And so so the, the bar that I have for what I'm going to take away is uh, it is pretty high. So. That's something to start with. So I always look at at how valuable it's going to be in addition to where it is and what kind of event it is. But I definitely think that getting out of town is really important. So you, you mentioned a, a critical term there, a strategic term, with theater market. So you're not just randomly choosing, con- well, I shouldn't say random, you're not just choosing a conference based on the topical content. You're also looking at where that conference is being held. Talk to me about that a little bit. You bet. And, and I'm actually going to get um, uh, I'm going to get a little real here because sometimes we will evaluate who do we think is going to be there that we could reconnect with or make new connections. Where is it? Right. Is it someplace fun that we would like to go? And, right. uh, and I say we because for my entire career, this has been my mom and I pretty much doing this together. Um, and, and so we, we, we have these, these benchmarks. And then, of course, what uh, what do we think that we're going to take away for content? Sometimes it's required courses. I remember, for example, my mom was pursuing the uh, the the second home and resort specialist designation, and uh, there's some required curriculum. So sometimes you don't have choices about where things are. In this case, she had seen a teaser presentation uh, at a, a a different conference from an instructor who taught the 1031 exchange course, who she just really loved. And 1031 exchange, this is a dry subject, right? This is, this is something that's required as part of that, um, that designation. And she said, I want to go where this guy's going to teach it because it's going to be fun. And he was only teaching one time in the next year, and it was going to be in Jackson, Wyoming, right? And so there we went. We Booked it, and th- that's not an easy place to get to. And the the organization that was hosting it was actually the um, Realtor Land Institute, the RLI. Right? And so think about we're in Wyoming, so all these folks are thinking about you know ranches and farms and that sort of uh, vehicle in the the investment arena. And so here we go, a couple of city slickers from Florida, and uh, and everybody else in the course was all ranch and and farm folks like from the immediate area so wear your wranglers um i i i wear (laughs) levi's jack (laughs) levi's right but um but but i understand what you mean i did i did take a cowboy hat though uh and i think i bought one there so so this was this was seeking out the instructor that we wanted to um that we wanted to hear and the course that we needed to take in a place that was just great right absolutely absolutely fun so that was kind of the trifecta and we absolutely learned a lot and we 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 gained knowledge that we shared with that with our clients and honestly those folks in that um that ranch market area 
uh, they didn't have any connections in Florida. So we built a nice referral network with those agents. Um, uh, rather than sitting in a class in our local market where everybody's competing for the same business. So when you think about um, content, there are certain courses and there are certain content that we, that we really try to seek out as far as conferences go. What are some of the fun conferences that you've attended, things you really enjoy, regardless of where they're hosted, as far as the conferences themselves, what are some of your favorites? Sure. Like there, there's a list of must, must attend. Right, regardless of where they are. Um, and so one of the things that I have found incredibly valuable over the years is Star Power, which is now back. Those of you that might be listening that remember Star Power from Howard Brinton days, and then it went away, it changed. And then Patrick Lilly created this environment called um, uh, Real Estate Vision, and he had uh, a conference called Real Estate Success Rocks, which was kind of... Um, Kind of an emotional replacement for 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 that whole thing and so now star power has started back up and that's something this is something totally cross brand and that's one of the things that i like about it there's some great brand specific um, conferences but i love attending those where you're going to interact with with other people from outside your brand so star power is back in action and that is one that i would encourage anybody to uh, to look for and um, and then CRS, um, actually, I guess now they call it the RRC, right? CRS is the designation, Certified Residential Specialist, and RRC is the Residential Real Estate Council that gives the CRS designation, just to you know, try to make that clear as mud. Um, but they have an annual conference called Celebration. And that one also is a really fantastic um, combination of just really engaged sharing attendees and really good high level content, right? So if you think about it, I cut my teeth on my my state real estate conference uh, and then NAR, right? And I got to go to NAR in the early 2000s when, right, like all this technology was on the scene. And let me tell you, the first time that you go to the trade show, that the expo, at something that large, and they've got the money machines that are blowing dollar bills and hundred dollar bills around, or you fill up your swag bag, and then you have to rent a locker in the convention hall, <laughs> store it, right? Those, those are some wonderful, I, I wanna say entry level, if you will, um, events to attend, because they're kind of like eye-opening, right? They're, uh, they're, they're astonishing. And then you kind of drill down on, on which ones, maybe a little smaller, you know, um, little little more palatable in terms of the num number of people that you're going to interact with, and uh, and more of the uh, the the focused educational takeaways. So Inman, for example, is uh, is another um, conference that is uh, that that is worth checking out. Again, cross brand, and Inman has their general real estate conference, and then they also have Inman Luxury. So if we're talking about getting luxury specific. There are events that you can seek out that that are those luxury specific. So Inman Luxury, for example, um, institute members who have the the guild level of uh, of membership have the opportunity to attend the Leaders in Luxury conference that the institute puts on. And I will tell you that I have not missed one since one. they since they started. And um and and so that's one that's on my list of of absolute musts. And then think about. For, for any of our audience who are real estate professionals with a specific brand, you've got your brand conference, right? They, you, you've got the big ones, right? Your big mm -hmm. convention. And then many of them that have luxury divisions have another luxury specific uh, conference that's smaller and is yeah, more yeah, focused on that. Yeah. The and company, you, the company, yeah, the company that we're with is an independent for we're only in the middle Tennessee area. And so a lot of these firms across the country, they're sort of homegrown and not associated with a Sotheby's or a Christie's or a franchise, if you will, are part of what's called leading RE, leading real estate companies of the world. And there's a luxury division of that to the luxury portfolio. And that's a conference I have been to a couple of times, and it's an absolute blast. 